The Japanese word for festival or holiday is Matsuri. Festivals in Japan are typically sponsored by a local shrine or temple, but they can also be secular. There are no set Matsuri days in Japan, dates vary from region to region, and even within a region, however, festival days tend to cluster around traditional festivals like Awa Odori. In late summer slash early fall, almost every location hosts at least one Matsuri, which is frequently associated with the paddy harvest. Processions, which may include elaborate floats, are common during notable Matsuri. The preparation for these processions is normally done at the Maki neighborhood level. The local kami may be ritually put in makashi and paraded around the streets prior to these. The many deities of Japan have been worshipped and gratified through traditional Japanese Matsuri festivals since ancient times. Each Matsuri celebration has its own intriguing history and unique appeal, including dance, music, costumes, cuisine, and more. Welcome to Luxuricity. The place of luxurious inspiration, ideas, and information. We will be talking about Matsuri in Japan, 5 amazing festivals in Japan. We've chosen 5 amazing Matsuri festivities in Japan. Number 5 Sapporo Snow Festival. The Sapporo Snow Festival, which aims to make the terrible cold of Hokkaido's midwinter bright and enjoyable, showcases hundreds of gigantic and exquisitely crafted ice and snow sculptures embellishing the city of Sapporo. The festival's primary location is Odori Park, but the surrounding Susukino area and the Tsu Dome in Higashi Ward both have a beautiful range worth seeing. The Sapporo Snow Festival has a brief and humble history when compared to many of the other festivals on this list. It began when a group of local high school students began creating sculptures out of snow that had been plowed and discarded in Odori Park. Annually, more professional and enthusiastic sculptors would arrive to compete with one another, rapidly expanding the event's scope. The ice and snow sculptures that line the frozen streets are becoming more ambitious and magnificent every year, drawing nearly 2.5 million people from Japan and overseas. Beautiful illuminations, projection mapping, ice skating, food booths, snow slides, and other attractions add to the festival's appeal, making it well worth battling the cold for. Number 4 Hakata Dantaku Matsuri Hakata Dantaku Matsuri, held annually on May 3-4 in Fukuoka, Kyushu, is one of Japan's most prominent Golden Week, holiday period in late April-early May, festivities. Beautifully costumed dancers, many carrying the festival's signature wooden shimoji spoon, and brilliantly painted Hana Jidosha floats take over the streets during the celebration. The word Dantaku was thought to come from the Dutch word Zondag, which means Sunday or holiday. During the Meiji period, 1868 to 1912, the name was first used in Japan to refer to the first and sixth days of each month, which were designated official holidays between 1868 and 1876. The Hakata Dantaku Matsuri began as a Matsubayashi celebration to commemorate the Lunar New Year in 1179. Although the government briefly prohibited it in 1872, it was revived in 1879 on a new date under the new name of Dantaku. Following the war, it took on its current shape in 1962, with a two-day sequence of processions and dances by residents, including young and old men and women. There are currently around 650 Dantaku groups with over 30,000 performers and up to 2 million spectators. If you're enjoying this please like and subscribe to the channel. Number 3 Sendai Tanabata Matsuri. Tanabata, also known as the Star Festival, is a major seasonal Japanese festival that begins on July 7 and lasts until mid-August, depending on the area and region. People will write their wishes on strips of rectangular tanzako paper and hang them on bamboo leaves while praying to the stars during this time. Colorful streamers and bamboo leaves will be used to decorate streets, shopping arcades, residences, and stores, creating a lively, magical ambience. The mythology of Oraheim and Heikoboshi, star-crossed lovers represented by the stars Vega and Altair who are separated by the Milky Way, was based on the Chinese Qixi festival. They are only allowed to meet once a year, on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month, according to the lunar solar calendar, which marks the start of Tanabata. The light from Vega and Altair is thought to be at its brightest around this period, leading to the notion that the two deities were finally united. While much of Japan now celebrates Tanabata on July 7, Sendai, home of Japan's largest Tanabata festival, does so a month later, on August 6-8, in accordance with Japan's ancient lunar solar calendar. 
The Sendai Tanabata Matsuri was founded by legendary samurai founder Date Masamune and is still one of Japan's most flamboyant celebrations today. Number 2 Aomori Nabuta Matsuri the Aomori Nabuta Matsuri, one of northern Tohoku's most notable events, is centered on massive, dramatic Nabuta paper lantern floats created in the figures of deities, legendary animals, kabuki actors, and more. During early August, the Nabuta Matsuri is held simultaneously in practically every region of Aomori Prefecture, with Aomori City, Hirasaki, and Gashigawara being popular destinations. Hanito dancers surround the floats, doing an energetic performance timed to accompanying music while dressed flamboyantly. The origins of this custom can be traced back to the Nara period's Tanabata Oban celebrations as a ritual to send off the souls of the deceased, 710 to 794. While most of these celebrations feature little lanterns drifting down rivers, those in Omori have grown into huge sculpture like Nabuta lanterns that may reach up to 5 meters tall and 9 meters wide. It is one of Japan's largest events and one of Tohoku's three great festivals, with over 2 million people expected to attend. Number 1 Awa Odori Awa Odori, Japan's greatest traditional dance festival, is held in Takushima City, in the remote prefecture of Takushima on Shikoku Island. The Awa Odori, which takes place over many days in mid-August and has a 400-year history, is one of Japan's three great Bon Odori events, which are all large-scale traditional dances held during the midsummer holiday of Oban. Awa Odori incorporates coordinated dance ensembles called Run. There are a variety of Run of all sizes, including amateur Run made up of locals, highly trained professional Run, and Run made up of kids or firm personnel. Each Run has a men's and women's dance, with men wearing a happy and socks and women wearing a yukata and traditional amagasa straw hat with geta wooden clogs. Men's dance is intense and dynamic, but women's dance is polished and exquisite. Awa Odori is also known for its unique duple time music, which is performed by a group known as an arimono, which includes bells, flutes, shamisen, and taiko drums. For more luxurious inspiration, ideas, and informative videos tune into the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.